General Secretary of New South Wales Labor, Kayla Minane, has resigned after receiving a reported six-figure payout from the party. Live now to Caroline Marcus, who is at New South Wales Parliament. Caroline, do we know how much Ms Minane has received from the party to leave? Well, the party hasn't confirmed the exact figure. It says it is a confidential settlement that she has reached this morning with New South Wales Labor in order for her to resign as the General Secretary of the party's branch here in New South Wales. However, it has been reported that this figure could be as much as $700,000, which would include her statutory entitlements as well as her legal costs of appearing before the ICAC. Now, uh, yesterday I put it to the New South Wales Labor leader, Jody McKay, this figure. She couldn't confirm it, as she said. She hadn't been briefed exactly on negotiations, but she did say that she believed that Ms Murnane was entitled to receive her lawful entitlements. Now, uh, party president here in New South Wales, Mark Lennon, released a statement earlier today. He said the terms of the separation agreement are confidential, but consist of Ms Monane's basic legal entitlements. The party is actively considering seeking the recovery of all its costs related to the inquiry, including the sum payable to Ms Monane under its insurance policies and from its previous lawyers. Now, Christy, uh, Ms Monane uh, gave evidence uh, before the ICAC, which is investigating a $100,000 cash donation that was made to the party back in 2015. Ms Monane had told the hearing that she was told about this donation uh, a year later by the then MP Ernest Wong and told that the true source of the donation was a prohibited donor, Huang Xiang Mo, and that uh, fake donors had been used to cover up that donation, but she said that she did nothing about it at the time because of legal advice that she received from the party's lawyer who disputed her account. Now, because of this damaging evidence before the ICAC, Jody McKay, the leader of New South Wales Labor, moved to suspend her. She has since announced a review of the party alongside federal opposition leader Anthony Albanese over the weekend. Uh, Ms McKay said that a replacement for Kayla Minane won't be announced until after that review is completed. However, the New South Wales right has endorsed uh, Bob Navner, who is the Rail, Tram and Bus Union uh, National Secretary, as their candidate of choice for the position.